Tomorrow marks the first day of Black History Month, and Sit on Your Side is celebrating by bringing you stories that have gone untold for much too long. So it's only fitting that our first story is about a Chesapeake man who's also waited years to tell his story. Ten on Your Side's Kara Dixon joins us now with more about his journey into a prestigious group of men. Yes, yeah, Stephanie, Laura, it took Thomas Newton seven decades to get there, and it all started because of one photo that he kept in his sock drawer. This is it. I'm going to show you me. More than 70 years have passed since Thomas Newton posed for this picture as an 18-year-old serving at the end of World War II. I got a spotlight on me. And rightfully so. The group surrounding him became the stuff of legends. So you had the, this picture in your sock drawer for all these years. Yes, uh-huh. Oh, seven or something years. Watson joined hoping to be a plane mechanic, but was trained as a clerk typist. He landed at Lockbourne Air Force Base and worked his way to sergeant. Yeah, you know, went up to the uh, photographers on the base, and I said, hey, you took our picture, but uh, I've never seen it, you know. So I said, could I have a picture? He said, let me see if I can find one. He finally had it rolled up, and he had two. He said, okay. You can have one. Last year, Newton says his son asked him about his service, so he showed him this photo he had tucked away. He said, Dad, I think, you know, you deserve some recognition for this because that's a 99 fighter squad. That's part of what you saw in Red Tails and everything, you know. He said, we're going to get you some recognition. And that's exactly what happened. Last November, Watson became an original member of the Tuskegee Airmen, earning his red jacket. I felt so honored. I said, oh man, this fits too. A fitting reward for a man who served because it was his duty. And I never sought the recognition, but being recognized now, it's a great honor. 70 years later, but as grateful as ever to be in the company of men whose backs we stood on to make this country and world a better place. Being around those guys and hearing their experience and everything, not only a learning spirit, learning uh, time for me, but also a great honor to say that I am a documented original Tuskegee Airman. Mean, that is a great honor. And I always remember it. Now, Newton went on to work for the U.S. Post Office in New York for more than 30 years, eventually becoming a manager of one of those offices. He says he is grateful that his son was able to get him recognized, all because of one conversation he had about his time in the Air Force. I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.